guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making carrot pumpkin chapati so with me here i have this flour it is for chapati and rotis so you can see the flour i'm going to be using this and then i'm going to be using carrot one carrot and this is the pumpkin i'm going to be using and then i'm going to be adding some fresh cow milk so we will be needing also oil so guys we will be needing also oil so this is the oil i'm going to be using this is uh, sunflower oil the fresh milk the chapati flour pumpkin carrot so all these are my ingredients for my chapati for today let's see how it turns out i have also to have uh, water with me to add up i'm going to be cooking some pieces only you're going to see how many pieces is going to come out from this recipe stay tuned guys and then we also be needing uh, sugar and some salt guys we're going to be needing uh, some three tip three three spoons of this uh, sugar this is sugar Okay, put it aside so we're going to be needing also salt this is step of salt like one spoon I'm going to be measuring step by step so that you guys you can see what will be the turnout for this chapati please guys subscribe to my channel like leave a comment because the comments you leave gives me a morale to continue doing more and more of the videos and then like also this channel let's give the most like to this chapati recipe i'm going to be showing you guys so all that done that's my recipe i'm going to be boiling this here i am back again with boiled carrots okay sorry guys i don't have a stand i'm just using my hands to open this blender so you can see guys my pumpkin and my carrot the one i boiled i have blended them together so i'm going to be measuring step by step all the recipe the dry recipe first and then we're going to be finishing with the the the, the liquid ones so the dry recipe let's do this guys for the sugar i'm going to be using three of this and then i'm going to be using half of it because when i was boiling my carrot and my pumpkin i added half of this table salt i added to this uh, boiled car this blended boiled carrot pumpkin for my recipe today so i'm going to be adding the sugar hey guys I'm going to be adding some sugar so, so you can see this is one two three my salt now my salt is my next recipe to add I'm going to be placing here not a lot that is the salt I'm going to be adding here I'm adding together with the with the sugar the next thing I need to add is the flour now here yeah. I've just cooked the flour from here. This is one. Okay, I'm going to be using two of this. Two of this bowl I'm going to be using for the flour. So my dry ingredients all are in. I'm going to be mixing them together. This is what I'm going to be using to mix. So I'm going to be mixing all together. Incorporate all of the dry ingredients together. I don't mind about my bowl before. I used when I was cooking the 
pumpkin and the carrot from the fire when it was cooking I just placed it here before I blend it I mash them before I blend it so that's why you see my bowl is dirty or even not dirty I mean it has the spots for the pumpkin and the carrot so all done it's made so guys i've mixed all the dry ingredients it's my time now to add the pumpkin the pumpkin carrot stuff i had blended but when i was blending i added milk i did not add water so i'm going to be mixing and adding a little water because the milk i added before stay tuned guys keep liking so guys we are back again i have put everything i have not added anything so this is the blended carrot pumpkin and i added milk so i'm going to be mixing this all together the dry ingredients and the pumpkin carrot ones into mix them so guys i have been putting on my gloves because Hygiene is very important when you are cooking. So, when we are cooking, always we should make sure the area we are working with is clean. And anything we are holding, we hold with clean hands. So, I decided to use my gloves to incorporate them together. So, I'm going to show you the results later when I finish this one. Stay tuned, keep liking, keep commenting. So, guys, the flour I added over overseed the pumpkin and blended carrot so i had to add some flour yes so i have this i had measured a full bowl of this so we're going to put half and then we see if it's not enough you're going to add so it's going to be three but for now we have just added half of it okay mix it it's good when you have cloves everything this chapati you're doing it's not going to stick on your hands but if you don't have mindless wash your hands make sure your hands are clean and then you incorporate all the ingredients together so that you need to have a very soft dough at the end of it so you can see it is still very light and we need a little bit a little bit harder so that we let it settle what i'm going to do i'm going to be adding now all of the dough so now we've used three balls of this ball three balls of flour remember that guys we added two before now this is the third one let's keep mixing okay guys keep subscribing for my returning subscribers I really appreciate I appreciate you guys thank you so much anybody is going to visit my this channel like comment I'm going to come back to your channel and watch your videos and also subscribe for those who have, I haven't subscribed just comment done and subscribe turn on the notification bell I'm going to come back to the channel and subscribe too. Okay, guys, we're still mixing. So, guys, I'm back. So, this is the turnout for our dough. So, we're going to add a little bit of oil so that we cover it and let it rest for an hour. Then we will come now and do the rolling. And then burning of this chapati. So I have added oil so that when I will be rolling, rolling my chapati is going to be soft. Okay, so the oil soft makes it soft. So as you let it rest, it will become soft. So the more hours you let your chapati dove to rest, the more it's going to bring the best results. So for mine, I'm going to let it rest for an hour and then i let you guys see my final product so guys this is my final product of my dough 
I'm going to cover it with a cling, leave it to rest for an hour and then we come back, we roll it and then we will burn. Uh, this is the cling, the clear one I was talking about. We are going to cover this and then we let it rest for an hour and we'll come back and check on the next thing. Keep liking guys, keep liking, subscribe. Guys, done covering with this clean. Now we let it rest for an hour. Then we come back and roll. So guys, this is the covered one. I'm going to add a tablecloth on top. Okay guys, so that is it. We we'll let it rest here for one good hour. Keep watching guys. Keep liking, keep commenting, support me your support means a lot guys guys almost an hour 40 minutes we have our dove here so we're going to still continue and wait for another 20 minutes then we'll come back and roll stay tuned so guys you can see our dove has incorporated well it's not sticking anymore see so meaning it's ready I'm going to show you the end product of this and then we continue burning keep liking keep commenting guys please so guys I've been knitting my head I'm going to apply a little bit of oil and then I roll and divide into sections so guys you apply the oil on top of it and then you cut the size you need and then you just roll this way this is how rolling happens. Stands this. Repeat, continue for all the dough. So guys, that's the oil I have. Pour it there. I'm to apply. The oil services of my chapati. So that it's going to give me a well laid chapati. Then I roll. Guys, after applying the oil and then kneading them properly, these are the end results. So this is the ones I'm going to cut for another 20 minutes and then we come back. I'm going to knit them and then I sweep them. See you when we're going to find the final results. So these are my chapati at now. Those are the results. After an hour of letting it sit for an hour now you're going to let it sit for another 20 minutes and then we'll come back to burn them so guys continue liking subscribing and then see you on the next step